School bus driver gets pulled over for a DUI on this episode of The Clutch Trucker Channel. Clutch Trucker filmed before a live and fuzzy studio audience that is Rusty, the world famous meatball dog. Hey YouTube, Clutch Trucker here. Thanks for tuning in to another edition of the Clutch Trucker Channel. Uh, this is just unbelievable. I couldn't believe this happened tonight. I, had to, I went down to my father-in-law's funeral today in Golden, Colorado. Uh, it's snowy and everything. Lousy roads coming back. I got a little video of some cars spinning out to show you here in a second. But uh, on my way home, I'm talking to my wife on the phone. She gets this message from my son. Yeah! Uh, one of the buses that they're uh, caravanning up to uh, Spearfish, South Dakota for a speech and debate tournament uh, that I dropped them off at school for this morning and then they left this afternoon. One of the uh, school bus drivers it got pulled over on Highway 85, not too far from Cheyenne on the way to Torrington, or on that direction in Wyoming, uh, for uh, driving under the influence. Of what? We don't know. But obviously it was bad enough either somebody on the bus called the cops or the cops just happened to see this bus swerving and out of control with students on it yeah got uh got pegged for uh driving under the influence like i said we don't know of what but i mean how freaking ridiculous is that and i have a little skin in the game obviously because my my son this was the south high school's bus driver my son goes to east high school and I think they have at least two buses. So my son was not on that bus, thank God. But, you know, they weren't that far out of town and he gets pulled over driving a busload of kids up to a speech tournament in Spearfish, South Dakota, a four and a half hour drive. And he's barely out of town. He gets pulled over for driving under the influence. I was just completely flabbergasted. I didn't know what to say. Shortly after my wife got that message, we get this message. You know, this isn't clickbait. This is real. I, I'm not making this up. It's, I'm sure, going to be on the wire and all across the news uh, agencies and everything soon. But, you know, bus driver, school bus driver, driving kids to a speech and debate tournament, pulled over for driving under the influence. Now, like I said, I don't know if it was booze, uh, marijuana, if it was, you know, uh, prescription drugs or something, but definitely bad enough that either somebody on the bus or uh, the cops just, you know, saw the bus driving erratically and had to pull them over. <sighs> Isn't that just freaking ridiculous? I couldn't believe it. I'm still flabbergasted. I just didn't know what to think about this. Well, we at least get another message from my son. They, they had to stop in this, uh, where were they? Hot Springs, Wyoming, not too far from Cheyenne, and wait for them to send up another bus or another driver and another bus because I'm assuming this guy got carted off to jail. I hope so. My God. Not just a, a, a person, you know, being selfish, going out and drinking too much and then driving home, you know, with themselves, but driving a bus full of kids under the influence? Are you freaking kidding me? Right here in little old Wyoming. Yeah, thank God my kid wasn't on that bus. You know, parents are just going to go up in arms about this. You know, I'm sure a lot of parents are going to be like, well, I'm never putting my kid on a bus again. Couldn't blame them. On the other hand, I, the, 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 like, the bus depot manager, what, can you make him uh, give every driver a breathalyzer every time they get there and, and want to take a bus or need to? He probably couldn't do that. And like I say, what if it was prescription drugs? How are you going to test for that? What a selfish asshole this driver was. He obviously had some sort of issue, he or she. We don't even know yet. Just happened tonight. <laughs> Here it is, uh, Wednesday, the 16th of February, 2022. Like I say, I'm sure you're going to see this in some news stories somewhere. Not too often you hear about a school bus driver being arrested for a DUI. Unfreaking real. I'm still just dumbfounded. I don't, I don't know what to say about it. I, you know, we try to teach our kids, oh, you should trust adults, uh, you know, but if, 
not all adults, obviously. You know, it's when you're when you're a little kid. Remember when you'd watch those videos? Hey, you know, uh, everyone in your neighborhood, like from Sesame Street and Mr. Cop and Mr. You know, drugstore guy and you know all these people in your neighborhood and your bus driver who is doing crack on the job, doing crack on the job, doing crack on the job. Your bus driver's doing crack on the job. We don't know it's crack, but I mean, come on. Unfreaking real. Lousy weather today. Driving back from, to switch subjects here, just to lighten things up a little bit. Driving back from Denver, I know there's this huge storm that's going to be sweeping through the most of the country in the next coming days. We just got the start of it here. And uh, lousy roads driving back uh, from Golden, Colorado, up here. Uh, and I ran into just trying to get from Wadsworth Boulevard onto I 76. Cars spinning out on the on ramp in front of me. So this is Denver trying to exit Wadsworth onto I-76 going uh, east to get over to I-25 and cars after car are just spinning out they can't even make it up the ramp. Gotta love it! Yeah I had to sit there like 10 minutes waiting for them to kind of figure out what they were going to do and making sure they're not going to run into me until I could get into the other lane to get around them. Uh, it took uh, a long time to get home. Uh, you know, it's a normally hour and 40 minute drive or so. Yeah, it was like, uh, what, two and a half hours at least tonight. Uh, but, you know, made it home. Uh, <laughs> hopefully my son is still uh, on his way to Spearfish t uh, for his speech and debate tournament and all that's going to be all right. I tell you, just crazy, crazy stuff. You can't make this stuff up, unfortunately. I wish I could make that up, but <laughs> school bus driver for failed a sobriety test. That's all the details we really know. But, you know, you gotta be really screwing up to fail the sobriety test. As a school bus driver, I'm just dumbfounded, completely dumbfounded. All right, wasn't gonna do a video tonight, but then I, I just had to do that. School bus driver. Let a few of us dads around that guy or he won't be driving again. Anyway, okay. On a little happier note, for those of you who have been following my channel on my truck sleeper remodel, you can see behind me a, a whole bunch of the stuff I've already done. We're in the final laps, baby. We're in the final laps. So in the next coming days, there will be a lot more. We're going to try to get the uh, ice and water barrier up, the diamond plate on the exterior box, and all that. And when I was talking to my son a few weeks back, um, you know, about the passenger seat. I'm like, do I really want to put that back in? Uh, I like kind of having the extra space. And he was saying, well, you know, you're by yourself most of the time. If any of us are ever going to ride with you, it just bolts back in. And I'm like, true. So I could do something else in that space in the meantime. And uh, I'd been kind of entertaining the idea of getting a uh, bicycle to bring with me. But I didn't want to have to do a full-size one. I wanted something that folds. They have folding bikes now. And I'd, I've been doing research on this and looking into them. And uh, I found there's this one by a company called Zizzo. Uh, they make one called the Zizzo Forte. It is the only folding bike that has a weight capacity up to 300 pounds. I weigh about 280 right now. Uh, maybe with, you know, cycling around when I, I get parked and stuff, I, I'll be able to do better than that. Uh, but most of those folding bikes only have a weight capacity between like 160 and 220. This is the only one I found that has a higher weight capacity. So I uh, did a lot of research, looked into it, found this uh, other channel about this guy in Denver who tests folding bikes, uh, I Folding Bike, I think is the name of the channel, a guy named Brian, and he had he got the Zizzo Forte, mainly because he's Mr. Bike and he likes to, to cruise all around and um, so he likes to carry a lot of stuff with him because he doesn't have a car, so he has to haul stuff on his bike. And uh, he basically approved it. He, he's a real bike head, so he had to change a gear or something, you know, stuff like that. But uh, so uh, I talked to my wife about that, and she agreed it's a good idea. But said, so I've spent so money, much money on the remodel, I need to wait a little bit, um, which I reluctantly was agreeing to. And then I saw on Amazon if I ordered it and I used my Amazon card, which I have, I can do it in payments, 30 bucks a month. So I went ahead and ordered it. Haven't told her that yet, but I will. Uh, so it's going to be here hopefully uh, within a week so I can take it out with me on the road and I'm going to be able to put it right over there next to my passenger door 
and then build a little structure to hold my cap commander bag and a, a doggy bowl area and stuff that I can easily unbolt if I ever need to put the passenger seat back in. But then I can have a bike with me, um, which I'm really going to enjoy. I loved riding all around when I was a kid all over the Denver area. I rode all over the place. I've always enjoyed riding a bike and I would like to do that again. Plus, if I park the truck at a truck stop and I need to go refill on groceries and stuff, I can bike to the store. It's going to be a beautiful thing. So I'm really looking forward to that. These folding bikes are great. Here's what it looks like. Alright, and here's a picture of what it looks like folded. down to uh, what 27 inches high by like 32 inches long and only 12 and a half inches wide so I can tuck it against my passenger door so it'll stay in out of the weather plus I'm too afraid to hang a nice bike like that on the back of the cab because uh, all truck drivers tend to have bolt cutters too easy to cut the lock or whatever I'd have it locked with off and uh, so it, it give it legs and walk away so I don't want that to happen. I'd like to keep it inside the truck. So, got that order. Should be here within a week. And uh, after all the craziness tonight with the uh, drunk or stoned or whatever bus driver, uh, I did see my package uh, from Amazon. I had to order a helmet. John Hallgren, when I was talking to him about doing the bike, he said, make sure you get a helmet. He knew uh, like a dentist or something that he uh, went to that was not that old in his 40s or something and fell off his bike whacked his head and brain damage and was dead so I'm like yeah I'll get a helmet so my helmet arrived today I was wrong about Brian's website it's iBike Unfolded and he reviews a whole bunch of he, he's got a whole bunch of them you can pay he has a Brompton uh, which is supposed to be more of the elite ones that he paid like 1500 bucks for but again they don't have the weight capacity I'm a truck driver I'm a big guy you know that shouldn't limit me from wanting to ride a bike around so this Zizzo Forte is the only one that has that kind of a weight limit. So I noticed in his videos, he wears a burn helmet. So I thought, okay, this is Mr. Bike. So let's go ahead and get one of those. The one I wanted to get that was like $39, they didn't have my size. But this one is the Burn Watts helmet. So uh, I like it because it looked, it, it actually could be used as a snowboarding helmet too. Uh, it has more of a look of like that kind of a helmet and uh, you have to measure your head and I did that to make sure I got the right size and there we go. Fits oh so nicely. Of course, you know, you do the straps so it won't fall off your head. It has a little visor thing. Isn't that so cool? So there you go. What do you think? <laughs> so once I get that folding bike and I can get back out on the road and when I'm parked and I just had a long day and I just want to unwind by doing something different, get a little exercise, I'm going to enjoy this. And so when I do get the bike, um, look for a video all about, I'll do an unboxing, I'll do a, a full review, I'll do a review, uh, you know, a little bit later on after I've had it in the truck for a while. So for those of you truck drivers interested in maybe doing this because we don't get enough exercise as truck drivers, it's obvious as hell, right? So this would be one that would <laughs> handle most truck drivers, um, you know, and it could probably handle a little more than 300. So if you're a little over that, I, I wouldn't hesitate to get it. But anyway, so we'll get all the reviews and now I'm, I'm covered. So in case I whack my head, I hopefully won't die. So anyway, we'll look for all that coming up and that's kind of, I'm kind of including that as part of the whole truck remodel. Uh, if you're new to the channel and haven't checked out that, I've been documenting the whole process from beginning to almost end now. I've been doing almost daily videos showing exactly how I have completely remodeled this Freightliner Coronado into a much more livable situation with a toilet, a sink, a full-size bed, and more. So scroll through the videos and check those out. Well, just kind of wanted to end the video on a little higher, happier note other than drunk school bus drivers. My God. Well, I, I had to just do this video because that, that just blew me away. Uh, I can't believe it. I can believe it. Because people are jerks. But come on. Rusty can't believe it, right? Crazy. I tell you.
Hey, thanks for tuning in. As always, please subscribe, please like and comment uh, if you'd like to. I get your comments usually within 24 hours while I'm still finishing up this truck sleeper remodel. Um, we're almost done. We're getting there. But cold tonight, but should be better in the next few days. So hopefully we can get that outer box all buttoned up, right? Yeah. Alrighty. And as always, sniff that magic YouTube fairy dust. Clutch and rusty. Out. Hey, hey, wait a minute. You hear that? I don't. I don't know. What is it? It's a dick fur. What's a dick fur? To pee with. All right, Rusty. There's that strip. Oh, there it goes. Hop up and get it. There you go. Yes, Rusty. Much more comfortable with the changes in the truck. He's willing to eat his begging strip up on what will be the seating area. Just needs some cushions now. That's about it. Sleeper truck sleeper remodel is nearing completion. Yay! Alright, Rusty, did you get it all? 